His parents called him William. His mother called him Billy. His brothers and sisters called him Willie, but he preferred to be called Bill. Stick around and see how he came to be known as Buffalo Bill. Greetings, everyone. I'm Gail Masenda, and I'm delighted that you are here with us today. As always, we'd appreciate it if you would like or comment on this video whenever you hear something new or something that you like. And please subscribe to the channel. It really does help us bring new videos to you. Let's get started. Sometime back, I had the opportunity to travel to LeClaire, Iowa, and visit the Buffalo Bill Museum there. Executive Director of the Museum, Robert Schiffke, shared his appreciation for Buffalo Bill and showed us some amazing artifacts and told us many stories related to Cody. In this one, Bob tells us how Buffalo Bill got his name. I'm on location this time at the Buffalo Bill Museum in LeClaire, Iowa. Did you know there was a Buffalo Bill Museum? You need to come and check this out sometime. It's a really special place. We have a very special guest with us today, today also, and this is Bob Schiffke, who's the executive director here at the museum. Come and on. he has something very, very special to show for us. Mr. Schiffke, show it, okay. take it away. Well, Buffalo Bill was born here, so, uh, and how did he get his name? Uh, his name actually is William F. Cody, okay? But he got his name because in, uh, when they were building the railroad across the United, western United States, they needed meat to feed, feed the, the workers. Mm -hmm. And where do you think they got this meat from? Well, from the buffalo, of course. And so Buffalo Bill was given $500 a month, a live month, or, or, or meat for these workers. And he got it from the buffalo. So he was a good buffalo hunter. And he, as you can see, buffalo is a pretty good size. But he would ride into a herd of buffalo on his horse take his gun, this is one of the guns like he would use, and he would shoot the buffalo. And he was known for having one shot, one buffalo. It was an excellent shot. And uh, of course, he did not uh, he did not make the buffalo become extinct because there were hundreds of thousands of buffalo. And he only killed maybe about 4,000 from the time that he fed these workers. So that's how he got his name, because of all the buffalo that he killed these workers. There's a lot more to learn about Buffalo Bill. In the description box below, I'll give you links to the History Heights ebook, The Story of William F. Cody, Buffalo Bill, America's First Celebrity Superstar, plus a lot more videos. Our special thanks today to Robert Schiffke and the Buffalo Bill Museum. I truly hope you get to visit there sometime. It's not a large museum, but there is so much there to see and appreciate. It's really worth the trip. You'll find a link to the museum in the comments below. You know, museums are where artifacts from the past are preserved and displayed. And museums are great places to visit. But we should always remember when we visit the past, we don't live there. Go be awesome today and make your own history. Bye for now.